what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Batman Arkham Knight. And finally, right in front of your eyes, is the Batman vs. Superman Affleck skin. Awesome! In all its glory. And let me tell you, this skin was a pain in the neck to download. It took oh. me all day. So it better be worth it. It was worth it! It this looks is, amazing! This is our first time seeing it in action. The suit is actually a variation of the Frank Miller Dark Knight Return suit, and of course, Zack Snyder's vision. So it's not uh, exactly a carbon copy, other than having the giant bat symbol on his chest, which yeah. is exactly like the Dark Knight Returns. The suit is very weathered, too. You can see marks for, like, knife cuts and bullet holes and all kinds of stuff. And the cape is also very torn and, you know, very worn and old. Yeah, nice touches there. I like how they know, put right? so much detail into it. It's awesome. You won't get away. Actually, he, he kind of, he outran me. Come back. Oh. Oh. Oh hey. my gosh. You know what? It's It's been a while since I did this. So yeah, this Batman has been unactive for about 20 years. So apparently yeah. someone in that car didn't want Ben Affleck to play oh. Batman. <laughs> okay. Apparently I, I turned into Superman for a second because that guy just ran into me and then stopped. <laughs> yeah. You were just like... A suit cars, of steel. Cars can't hurt me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm liking the length of the cape, too. Like, some of the other capes in Arkham Knight aren't very oh, long. Yeah. This one, it seems to stretch to the very bottom of the ground. Even the cape looks like the um, Zack Snyder bat symbol. Yep. The, yeah. But it's also, like, a very torn and, you know, very old cape. And this, of course, is a 2016 Batmobile. Whoa. This thing is wow. awesome. So we're going to get to see this thing in action. It looks like it has a warning on the front right there where it says no step. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It says charge. Charge. So this probably is electrically charged like the Keaton Mobile and some of the other. Ba oh, come on. Wow. I'm, I'm in the middle of a tour here. <laughs> These guys are cramping your style. You'll pay. No one interrupts Batman when he's giving a tour. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like doing the bail voice because I don't think that would... You know, really, <laughs> yeah. really do, uh, you have to do the, justice. You have to do the voice from I the... I don't know uh, how he talks. <laughs> from the trailer. He's probably just going to have, like, a very deep voice. Yeah. But uh, we, we all we know so far is he says, do you bleed? You yeah. You will. You know, so... It's like a sleeker version of the Tumblr. This car kind of reminds me of uh, one of the um, comic book Batmobiles of the early 2000s. Mixed with the Tumblr and the uh, Dick Grayson mobile, like in the comics. So, I mean, this is like a fusion car, but it looks really cool. I'm, and I love how that slides open like that. Yeah. I'm getting tingles looking at that car. <laughs> it's, like, it's amazing. So, it handles oh. just like um, most of the car themed Batmobiles that we've driven so far. It's not as light as the Keaton Mobile or the um, West Mobile. <laughs> Sorry well, about that. I chose the wrong place to drive. Yeah, don't don't drive on that side of the road when Batman's coming. You'll get a charge out of it. <laughs> he was actually on the correct side. What is but... it with the glitches today? That guy's head is stuck in the car. I'm trying to do a yeah. showcase here. <laughs> it's like a clown car. Everyone's uh, coming out of it. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. I should just restart now. No, this is funny. Leave it in. Uh. Glitches are our friends. No, there seems to be a lot in Arkham Knight. <gasps> Every uh, time. Yeah. Well, it always c happens with us, though. Like, <laughs> they just walked right into it. Whoa, oh, you know they're dead. That's what you <clears throat> get for getting in Batman's way. So, based on stuff that we've seen in the trailer for um, Batman vs. Superman, it looks like Batman is probably going to be a killer, just like Keaton's. Whoa. So, yeah. Hardcore. They're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, on, that on. skit was fun. I'm coming to get you. Better run faster. Oh. Whoa. I thought I would rev up the engine to scare them. Engine sounds great in this game. Like this version of the Batmobile. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. So Zack Snyder and uh, Rocksteady worked really closely together and their like licensing department to get this Batmobile and skin into the game. Nice. And this is super authentic. Oh. Yeah, I think they 
probably put more detail into this one than probably a lot of the others. This is really no. nice. I would say that the Burt Mobile and suit is exactly like, um, you know, what we would expect from oh, yeah? a proper license. Oh, okay. uh, the tumbler looks great too. So, I mean, just, just the attention to detail that Rocksteady's like uh, design team did is just amazing. Yeah. And as a kid, we never would have saw this type of thing, like with a brand new movie Batmobile and suit in a video game. That's yeah. just crazy. Not as crazy as Tink, though. Yeah. Now our cat's running behind us again, driving us crazy. It's because she she wants to drive the Batmobile. That's why. yeah. Yeah. I am. I mean, I'm gonna guess never. Yeah, it's never never been seen before, and probably never will be seen again. A Batman game quite like this. I don't know. I mean, uh, whoever does the next Batman game, they're really going to have to step it up. Rocksteady has given us 21 Batman skins with three or four more on the way. There's supposed to be 25 in total. They've given us five or six Robin skins, three Nightwing, uh, three Catwoman, um, different Batmobiles from, you know, Batman's iconic uh, era. Like, you got the 60s. Yeah. You have the... Um, 80s Batmobile, you have the Asylum, like, kind of like Millennial Batmobile coming out, the 2016 Batmobile, the Tumblr. I mean, this is just a huge celebration of Batman, 75 years, you know? It's awesome. So, the next person or a team <laughs> that does a Batman game, this is going to be hard to live up to with all the content that they put in this. I mean, yeah. just look at this. I'm thinking, coming after Rocksteady to do a well, Batman well, game. What's he doing? Oh, wait. Don't pick that up. Oh. I'm trying to be cool here. That's what you get. Yeah, we were trying to be cool. It looked like he was going to throw something at me. It was like, I'm standing on my car, he's going to throw a rock at me. Good job, that's, Batman. That's you gonna, took care. That's going to go well. Yeah, I was thinking, coming after Rocksteady to do a Batman game is like somebody coming after Kevin Conroy doing Batman's voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would not want to be that studio. Yeah. And we're not even done with content yet. There's stuff so. happening in December. We got the Nolan suit, which I saw today. And I'm just like, oh, it doesn't look that good. So basically what you're saying, K-Wing, is that after all your critiques, after all your tiny little things, you're like, oh, I don't really like this. You're basically saying Rocksteady are awesome, and they they basically they did a phenomenal job, and no one can compete with them overall. I don't know. No. I mean, I... <laughs> you have to wait and see. I can't. I cannot imagine anyone competing with this. I'm just gonna go. I still Bravo! Say, I you st guys did awesome. I, I can't imagine anything better. I still say that this <laughs> and the PC PC version, especially the PC gamers, really got screwed. Like uh, they've never really been able to fix. You know. Oh the yeah, game. I forgot about the PC version. Look, look how the cape just drags. But for this version, it was pretty awesome. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm saying in general, the, the whole the, like the PS4 thing. version is very buggy though, to the point where you can get stuck in the buildings and guys you punch will just like disappear through concrete and you know. I mean, it's not as buggy as Fallout 4, but you know, Arkham City wasn't buggy at all. Like unless you really tried hard to break it. So I really feel that Warner Brothers and DC really rushed Rocksteady because usually they, they're better at polishing products. Yeah. But, but that being said, you know, this game came out in June and it's almost December and I'm still playing this game like every day. It looks so pretty. It's eye candy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. And now with uh, all the things that they've done for the challenge maps and all the characters being playable, you know, I can really do lore for other characters now while tackling non-timed predator maps. So, yeah. you know. You have to admit, though, your little kid eyes that watch the animated series, like, looking at this game, it's like, whoa. <laughs> they just grow wide and you, you see the Batmobile, you know. I know I'm being greedy. And I know we're getting some really cool stuff in January, but I really want an animated series Batmobile and Racetrack, <laughs> along with the skins, because they're in the PC files. And uh, really? by accident, uh, just recently, the Noel skin from Arkham Origins was leaked coming to Batman Arkham Knight. So that still gives me hope that there's other skins and things, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing there's Shocking, hardly... Right? There's hardly a Batman fan that wouldn't want an animated series uh, Batmobile. Well, I mean, if this is the final game that, uh, you know, Conroy is going to be the voice of Batman, it would be a nice send-off to have his Batmobile, the skin set for Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman, Batgirl, 
Because Batgirl has no skins at all, which is kind yeah. of lame. Isn't that's where Kevin Conroy started, isn't it? Animated yeah. series, yeah. That's what made Kevin Conroy Batman. So it it's not a free totally roaming video sense. without uh, jumping off rooftops. Totally. Yeah, that looks really nice. This is cool. This is getting me so hyped for the movie. I'm so hyped. I really wish that the cape, though, was bigger for the Burton Batman, because his cape was also longer. But this one is oh. super authentic. Cool. And, I mean, just... I, I don't know. I, I'm really hoping we get to see a new trailer for Batman vs. Superman, so that we can finally put the stupid rumors to rest that Affleck is Deathstroke. Because I'm sorry, but this is just <laughs> driving me nuts. Of all the moronic things I could hear. No, you couldn't waste that chiseled chin on Deathstroke. No, you can't. <laughs> That's a Batman chin. Now this is what Batman would be doing, fighting in an alleyway, like as Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns Batman. Yep. Boom, baby. Oh, it that is. is just satisfying. I mean, the combat in this game, I just love running around beating people up. I mean, it, it's so much better than City. And the fact that, you know, you can just jump in the Batmobile and there's so many different Batmobiles to drive, it's like, it's hard to hate this game. It really is. Yeah. Uh, I just really, come on, Rocksteady, just patch the game so Nightwing and Robin can be in free roam. It's not hard. They even have the grapples. Robin can even glide. You know? You're almost there. You're, you're almost like this, there. You're, you're, you're so close. <laughs> you know? Uh. Oh. It is really cool, though, that they uh, had the movie guys work with uh, Rocksteady on. Yeah, I still, I still can't believe it. Uh, that, to me, is like, this is any Batman's fan dream come true, you know? I had yeah. to pull the guy over. Yeah. I didn't even do anything. He was driving recklessly. Yep. You certainly weren't. Well, you know, Jim is watching, so I gotta be careful, you know. <laughs> You're not getting away. How did he dodge that? Seriously, I'm like... Okay, that's just annoying. There's no way he's getting away from me. Stupid car. Hmm. I'm Batman. So is his suit kind of male-like? Or <clears throat> it has it has a lot of reinforcement, like... Kevlar, male? probably Kev nanotech... Oh! Okay. oh! Nanotech, Ouch. um, Apparently reinforced Kevlar, it stops cars. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. I'm sure they'll give us a more detailed uh, thing when Zack Snyder releases more inf info. We're going to be seeing a lot of Batman in the DC Cinematic Universe. He's going to appear in many people's movies. Wonder Woman's, uh, Suicide Squad, you know, all kinds of stuff. But I'm so um, excited. Yeah, he's basically the Tony Stark of the Cinematic Universe of DC. He's going to have so many cameos building up the Justice League. So we're going to see Affleck more than any other on-screen Batman. Batman so. will be the, the Dark Knight reigning over all the movies. Yeah, Bale yeah. was the only um, live-action Batman actor to appear in three movies as Batman. Keaton had two, Kilmer had one, Clooney had one, and West had one. Oh, wow. Technically, in terms of animated films, you know, Conroy beats him easily. But. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. He will be the new Tony Stark then. He'll be in all the movies. I really love this car. Anyway, guys and gals, uh, that does it for this episode. In the comment section below, tell us what you think of the Affleck skin and the 2016 Batman v Superman Batmobile. Ooh. We'll see you with more content and DLC soon. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.